How do you think we're doing in terms of engaging the community uh, in, in a covenantal way amidst the COVID season? I think definitely there is a greater sense, you know, of awareness, you know, that there are people uh, who are hurting and the pandemic has affected different communities uh, differently. Um, we know jobs are lost and we know that um, uh, some families are really hurting more than others. So, so the church, I think, is keenly aware of that. And we see uh, churches responding to um, calls for help, uh, working alongside government agencies. I, I think this has been translated uh, down to individual Christians, you know, um, on a few fronts. One, I think a greater sense of gratitude, you know, that God has somehow spared Singapore uh, from the ravages that we've seen in so many other communities in so many other countries. That's true. And we like to think that there has been a divine providence or divine protection uh, over Singapore. We have preferred anecdotal stories of how churches have responded, you know, I mean, just in very simple ways. Um, uh, food delivery, um, packing sanitizers, putting masks together, going out to the homes and communities, distributing masks, just giving out money, scholarships, study awards. Uh, anecdotally, uh, people are coming together, just doing simple works like this. On a small scale, I think we have become uh, more ready to say thank you to taxi <laughs> drivers, to grab drivers and food delivery. Mm. Last time, I think for various reasons, we didn't say thank you so much. Uh, one thing that encouraged me about the church's response is the rough sleepers, right. homeless. Uh, my students and I, we used to have these uh, night trips to walk around uh, Chinatown, New Bridge Road, and just to speak with the homeless. And it's very complex issues. Yeah. Okay? It's not just providing a bed, it's dignity, it's yeah. relational, anger, hopelessness the loss of dignity and it's quite amazing that various churches, many churches uh, open up their rooms, mm. uh, car parks and men came forward to house the rough sleepers, mm. overcome the red tape, the bureaucracy and gave dignity. Uh, one one anecdote, very encouraging, uh, this is where fellowship is important, mm. meeting people is still important and we have the privilege to do it, we should gather as allowed, uh, gather as safe. I was having a conversation with a fellow Christian and he was just sharing with me that he had a friend who had uh, access cardboard and could redesign this cardboard into cardboard beds. Oh really? Environmentally friendly and at that time there was a lockdown. You couldn't get baits imported from, say, from Malaysia. Right. And these cardboard baits are light, lightweight, easily mm. assembled, and can you can sleep on it. Mm. You can take up to a good sized man, no problem. And this was the little innovation that came in, uh, that actually helped uh, some centers, some churches, uh, to be able to uh, facilitate right. the rough sleepers for a place to sleep. COVID has caused us to rethink. Help the ordinary Christian here. They, let's say you're convicted, you know COVID's happening, you know there's people who are struggling out there, but there's needs everywhere you look. Where should the typical Christian, the ordinary Christian, the every man, you and I, where do we start looking for where we can help um, engage the community in a covenantal way? I would say give thanks. The first thing is uh, beaming and shed. It's really to give thanks in a very humble way to know that God has provided and then look around us and share. We, we have different gifts. Uh, some of us are more comfortable working with uh, children. Some of us are more comfortable working with migrant communities. Uh, go beyond the comfort. Right. Partner somebody else who is already a few steps ahead and commit to it. Commit to it to say that I'm glad that God has given me the time or the resources to share. Mm. The Bible is very clear. A glass of water, hospitality, listening ear, the prayers of the saints. Mm. Uh, this is where uh, God would use us. <laughs>